Hi Sudan, this is Sohkumar here. Now we see about um, 1.5 electrostatic potential and potential energy in first chapter electrostatics. So before that I give you an introduction about this topic. Um, already studied uh, what are the uses of uh, Newton's law of uh, gravitation um, in mechanics chapter already studied. Uh, Newton's law of gravitation it is used to study about um, um, uh, what about magnitude of uh, gravitational force between the two different masses by using uh, Newton's law of gravitation we can be determined magnitude of gravitational force between the two uh, different masses we find out um, in electrostatics lesson uh, by using Coulomb force uh, we can be by using Coulomb law by, by using Coulomb law uh, we find out uh, magnitude of uh, uh, electrostatic force it means the coulomb force between the two charged particles so between the two charged particles either electrostatic attractive force or repulsive force um, we find out its magnitude value by using coulomb law um, next you compare coulomb law and newton's law of gravitation uh, both they are obey inverse square law and one more thing is uh, coulomb law um, already you know coulomb force it means that electrostatic force and uh, uh, gravitational force uh, both forces are uh, example for conservative force already you studied in 11th standard syllabus um, uh, what is mean by conservative force and what are the example for conservative force already you studied in 11th standard syllabus so coulomb force and um, and uh, uh, gravitational force, uh, both their example were conservative force already studied in 11th standard syllabus. At the same time, uh, already studied in um, 11th standard syllabus, uh, within the gravitational field, uh, how we find out the gravitational potential and the gravitational potential energy already uh, studied in 11th standard uh, syllabus. At the same time, in 12th standard syllabus, uh, within the electric field, uh, what about value for electric potential and electric potential energy, how we find out its value, next uh, we see about this topic. Okay, careful listen here. Next, uh, you select a point charge uh, plus Q. It is placed at point O, origin. Uh, this charge produces a field, uh, the charge plus Q produces an electric field around it. Uh, next, I select a test charge Q dash. Uh, this one is also positive charge, test charge Q dash. Initially, it is placed at point R. Which force is formed between them? Electrostatic repulsive force is formed between them because they are uh, uh, like charges. Uh, you follow this diagram. Next, uh, test charge Q dash moving from point R to P. Some amount of work is done there against the repulsive force. Test charge Q dash R go point to P go point to move on. Up, uh, or, or done and the work done and the work done and the repulsive force is against the work done. This work done stored in the form of electric potential energy in the work done the in the electric potential energy on store uh, sorry, uh, right next i find about the uh, formula for electric potential energy uh, you follow this figure once again uh, test charge q dash is uh, brought from r to p with a constant velocity uh, uh, in this case, we apply particular amount of external force on uh, charge <laughs> Q dash. And the Q dash the charge R gra point and the P gra point move on. Then we have a particular amount of external force Q dash the charge we apply. The applied external force, this applied external force represented by F external vector. What about its direction? Its direction opposite to the Coulomb force. Here, can we angle the Coulomb force in electrostatic repulsive force? And the electrostatic repulsive force and the Coulomb force is the opposite in the F external force. At the same time, magnitude of F external force equal to the magnitude of Coulomb force. And the good Coulomb force is the magnitude value F external force and the NRD equal. So, you follow this figure.
next uh, continuously i derive uh, electric potential energy formula by using this diagram continuously i derive uh, electric potential energy formula so uh, from figure 1.22 um, what about the uh, f external vector and uh, f coulomb force uh, what about its uh, magnitude value and direction um, f external vector is equal to minus f uh, coulomb vector next uh, amount of work done here i find about uh, amount of work done uh, you follow express number 1.25 how we get this expression uh, work done general formula force into distance here f external vector it is not the vector quantity dr vector displacement of the uh, test charge um, q dash so you take dot product between the two vector f external vector and dr vector you take dot product between them then we get a scalar quantity so uh, w is equal to um, f vector dot dr vector uh, implement the integration then we get uh, total amount of work done implement the integration we get uh, total amount of work done so here we get express number 1.25 by following this method next um, Uh, since uh, coulomb force is the conservative force so uh, work done um, is independent of the path already know about definition for conservative force already studied in 11th standard by following this uh, definition work done is independent of the path so amount of work done depends on which factor uh, depends only on the initial and final position of the test charge q dash uh, at initial position uh, uh test charge q dash placed at point uh, r at this point its electric potential energy value u r next at final position test charge q dash placed at point p at this point uh, its uh, electric potential energy value um uh up find out the difference between them find out the uh, difference between them then we get del u it is called electric potential energy next you substitute f external vector then we get uh, del u value finally you follow 1.28 expression you follow 1.28 expression by following this uh, derivation part uh, here Uh, del u uh, 1.26 del u integral f vector dot uh, dr vector so applied uh, external force value uh, minus q dash e vector substitute here minus q dash e vector substitute here then we get del u value finally 1.28 here we get next uh, electric potential energy difference per unit charge is called uh, potential uh, uh, electric potential difference previous case what uh, i derive formula for electric uh, potential energy del u i find out previous case i find out electric potential energy uh, formula del u i find out del u is equal to w what about del u value w value uh, previous case i find out um, q dash integral uh, p to r minus e vector dot dr vector previous case 1.28 i find out next i find out uh, the potential energy difference per unit charge the potential energy difference the potential energy difference uh, per unit charge next i find out uh, potential energy difference per unit charge it's mean the substitute value for del u del u nothing but electric potential energy or uh, the potential energy difference del u electric potential energy or uh, potential energy difference uh, uh, divided by q dash so q dash uh, you substitute uh, q dash value 1 coulomb so del u value substitute q dash value 1 coulomb also substitute then we get uh, integral uh, minus uh, integral p to r e vector dot dr vector you follow this expression 1.29 um, it is nothing but uh, electric potential difference formula electric potential difference formula uh, from expression number 1.28 only i find out electric potential uh, energy uh, or electric potential difference now i find out electric potential uh, energy difference per unit charge it's mean that electric potential difference between the two point p and r only i find out it is represented by uh, del v so formula for del v is equal to vp minus vr otherwise we can say another definition the electric potential difference is defined as the work done by an external force to bring unit positive charge from point r to p or unit positive charge r ingra point lende p 
பிங்கிற பாயிண்ட் கொண்டு வரோம்னா ஒரு யூனிட் மாஸ் வச்சா அது ஆருங்கிற பாயிண்ட் வந்து பிங்கிற பாயிண்ட் கொண்டு வரோம்னா அங்கே எவ்வளோ ஒரு டன் நடந்திருக்கும் அந்த ஒரு டன் தான் எலக்ட்ரிக் பொட்டன்ஷியல் டிஃப்ரென்ஸ் அப்படின்னு சொல்லலாம் எலக்ட்ரிக் பொட்டன்ஷியல் டிஃப்ரென்ஸ் பிட்வீன் த டூ பாயிண்ட் ஆர் அண்ட் பி ஸோ யூ ஃபாலோ திஸ் எக்ஸ்பிரஷன் ஒன் பாயிண்ட் த்ரீ ஜீரோ okay once again we revise about this topic uh, what is mean by electrostatic potential energy and electrostatic potential once again we revise um, about about this topic what electrostatic potential energy and electrostatic potential already studied in 11th standard 11th standard la padichirukinga gravitational field la gravitational potential na gravitational potential energy na enna adukuriya formula 11th standard la padichirukinga similarly in electric field um, what is mean by electro static potential energy and what is mean by electrostatic potential now we discuss electrostatic potential energy it is nothing but uh, it is one of the energy uh, due to which uh, which of position in electric field which of position in electric field it's mean that uh, within the electric field region uh, a static charge uh, it's mean that a point charge moving from one point to another point some amount of work is done the this work done is equal to energy this energy is nothing but electrostatic potential energy adavud or electric field region ku or static charge or point la nindu or point to move pandrom appa some amount of work done nadandiruka and the work done da electrostatic potential energy appdin sollam seriya so Uh, what about electrostatic potential energy now you understand next uh, uh, electrostatic uh, potential what is mean by electrostatic potential ivar nero plus q ingra or static charge electric field ku la move pannu ipo and plus q ingra charge one coulomb nu eduthukenga appo one coulomb charge electric field region ku la or point la nindu or point ku move pandrom so energy per coulomb charge energy per coulomb charge it is nothing but electrostatic potential uh, next uh, we select a spring mass system um, here we select spring mass system m mass of the body uh, moving forward uh, due to compression of the spring so some amount of work is done there. this work done uh, in the form of electrostatic potential and this work done nothing but uh, potential energy is stored there in another work done the potential energy is stored on the earth surface here we select uh, m mass of the body it is raised up to particular height um, against the gravitational force some amount of work is done there against the gravitational force uh, this work done nothing thing but gravitational potential energy similarly Uh, within the electric field region uh, yes uh, test charge uh, static charge uh, moving from one point to another point uh, a yeah, point charge moving from one point to another point some amount of work is done that this work done is equal to electrostatic potential energy and the charge one coulomb charge in the term now up one coulomb charge move on drop எவ்வளோ ஒரு டன் நடந்திருக்கு அந்த ஒரு டன்ங்கிறது எனர்ஜி ஈக்குவல் எனர்ஜி பர் கூலும் சார்ஜ் இட் இஸ் நத்திங் பட் எலக்ட்ரோஸ்டாட்டிக் பொட்டன்ஷியல் நெக்ஸ்ட் யூ லுக் திஸ் ஃபிகர் இன் யுவர் டுவெல்த் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் சிலபஸ் யூ லுக் திஸ் ஃபிகர் ஹியர் ஐ செலக்ட் ஏ டெஸ்ட் சார்ஜ் ப்ளஸ் க்யூ திஸ் சார்ஜ் ப்ரொடியூஸ் ஃபீல்டு அரௌண்ட் இட் இந்த ப்ளஸ் க்யூங்கிற சார்ஜ் அதை சுற்றி ஒரு ஃபீல்டு உருவாகுது நெக்ஸ்ட் ஐ செலக்ட் test charge q dash initially it is placed at to point r uh, finally it is moving from point r to p uh, so uh, test charge q dash initially placed at point r at this uh, initial point its electrostatic potential energy represented by u r uh, it is moving from point r to p test charge moving from point r to p at the final position p its electrostatic potential energy u p we find out uh, difference between the two values. you so how much amount of work is done there we get uh, um, how much amount of work is done there again the repulsive force we find out uh, work done value uh, you uh, look this formula at initial position of the test charge uh, electrostatic potential energy u r uh, this value ordered with the amount of work done uh, next we get u p uh, next you find out the difference between u p and u r uh, it is nothing but uh, some amount of work is done there against the um, Uh, electrostatic repulsive force test charge moving from point uh, q r to p uh, some amount of work is done there again the repulsive force this work done is equal to uh, 
electrostatic potential energy uh, we find out net amount of work done here so we implement the integration so here uh, integral p to r effector dot dr vector here effector nothing but uh, f external vector f external vector in the f vector other than the effect of the f external vector in the f external vector in the effector in the uh, q dash in the test charge mail apply panna kudi uh, uh, external force of uh, f vector in the uh, test charge q dash moving from point r to p uh, external force applied on the test charge q dash displacement of the test charge dr vector so we find out dot product between the uh, two value implement the integration then we can the total amount of work done uh, test charge q does moving from point r to uh, p um, uh, total amount work done here we get uh, so some amount of work is done again the electrostatic repulsive force so applied external force uh, it is uh, opposite to the direction of the uh, Coulomb force is mean that electrostatic repulsive force. In the effect applied external force and so on is direction opposite to the um, uh, Coulomb force. Both they are having same magnitude, but the direction opposite each other. So uh, effect uh, it is nothing but uh, applied external vector uh, on test charge Q dash. So F is equal to minus F C. So effect from uh, minus F C vector under the ground. So uh, effect the around all applied external force. So, right. so no uh, total amount of work done here we find out so total amount of work done is equal to minus integral uh, p to r fc vector dot dr vector here we find out this total amount of work done nothing but uh, electrostatic potential energy or electrostatic potential energy difference of electrostatic potential energy where am i put so long electrostatic potential energy difference and so long what about this formula here i find out next uh, total amount of work done divided by test charge q dash in the test charge q dash no put through no q no put through gang up or small correction and the q q dash no chita and the q dash the ending a one coulomb subset one and a one coulomb charger if an amara and a point and the being a point to move on wrong so total amount of work done divided by one coulomb charge then we get electrostatic potential difference uh, before that here what about value for fc vector already you know formula for uh, electric field force fc equal to eq by following this formula you substitute value for uh, fc is equal to eq fc is equal to eq then you get um, uh, electrostatic potential difference formula minus integral p to r e vector dot uh, dr vector uh, net amount of work done um, divided by test charge q dash test charge q dash and put through no i'm a q and put through gang a q a q dash no chinga and the q dash go on cool and subscribe on a up a total amount of work done divided by one coulomb charge then we get electrostatic potential difference electrostatic potential difference formula here we get minus integral p to r e vector dot dr vector this expression you following a book so uh, up to this time what do you understand uh, uh, up to this time um, uh, what is meant by electrostatic potential energy uh, what about formula for electrostatic potential energy electrostatic potential energy otherwise you can say electrostatic potential energy difference and so on electrostatic potential energy or electrostatic uh, uh, potential energy difference divided by uh, one coulomb charge then we get electrostatic potential of uh, electrostatic potential energy now my electrostatic potential energy difference and so on uh, electrostatic potential energy or electrostatic uh, potential energy difference uh, uh, divided by one coulomb one coulomb charge in our name divide upon them now in the electrostatic potential difference correct on upper electrostatic potential energy divided by one coulomb charge then we get electrostatic potential difference okay thank you now um, we now we see about um, book bag uh, short answer uh, page number 75 book bag short answer page number 75 uh, question number uh, 14 uh, define electrostatic potential energy uh, 
very important two more question define electrostatic potential energy question number 14 uh, page number 75 book and book book, book back short answer um, uh, page number uh, 75 question number 14 define electrostatic potential energy now we discuss about only this two more question um, answer to this question okay thank you